Hello everybody, my name is Jenny Boy, and welcome back to our series of Hearts of Iron 4 Kaiserreich, playing as the Socialist Republic of Italy with our boy Benito Mussolini. Now, in the last episode, um, Mussolini took over, and uh, a bit of a war broke out over here in uh, the Republic of Italy, which is good for us, because I got a great suggestion. Neither of these guys are protected by Austria anymore which they previously were, so when this war is over, hopefully we can uh, uh, attack them and uh, gain a bit of territory for ourselves, which will be very helpful. We're nationalizing the industry and our ideology has grown. Perfect. It's a bit better. Because you, we don't want low popularity. Because right now we've got low stability and low popularity. Republic of Korea declare war on the Republic of Japan. Republic of Japan. The Empire of Japan. Oh, they're paternal autocrats. And Korea is social conservatives, and they've rebelled. Um, Korea, can you explain what's going on here? Five percent of your nation is social conservative. But 47% of your people are social democrats. So what's going on there? Look at the look at Mongolia. They are doing well. What's your uh, oh the second international congress? Congress. Our British comrades have confirmed their readiness to host the second international congress in London. It's time for the Republic to confirm its participation. Oh my God! Look at this. <laughs> No, we uh, we shall let that. Four percent stability. Good. Look at this, Soviet Russia. Oh my God. Yeah, there's quite a numbers advan disadvantage, but Finland is in the war, and we've nationalized the industry. What should we do now? We could expand Italian railway, expand the universities, modernized farming, Ministry of Public Security. Let's go, let's uh, expand the universities and get another research slot. Because right now we only have three, and having four would help us quite much. This war doesn't seem to be going anywhere, which is a shame. Let's see, um... So far not a lot of people have died. How's the civil war in America going? Oh, the Pacific states are actually at war this time. And the United Mexican states are, are in. These guys haven't lost Washington yet, which I find impressive. The 1937 Spartakiade. What? First Spartakiade's opening ceremony was held in Paris, attended by dignitaries and athletes from around the socialist world. The French team carried the torch, the British team the hammer, and the other teams carried the pieces of the cog to the location where they were assembled. Placed together, they formed the international symbol of syndicalism. Oh, so instead of being a hammer and sickle, it's a hammer and a torch and a cogwheel. What a glorious day for the working man. So I guess it's like the Olympics, but socialist. Socialist Olympics, that sounds strange. Not sure I like that. I'm not sure if I should just try to go to war with them directly, or uh, uh, between Bologna and Torino. Not sure if I should go to war with them now or wait till the war is over. Oh, Torino. Because if I declare war, there's a chance that these guys will just grab them automatically because they had a higher war score or some bullshit like that. Fall of Washington. Ah, uh, syndicate militias have contributed. It's good for us. Good for us. Hmm. Good old Huey Long over here. We have got a few medals in the events, but not enough for a team to be the winner. God damn it. Neither good nor bad. So not much happened in the second international, apparently. 
finish Black Monday reforms. Ching Shik declared war on Chang Ching. What? Xing declared war on Chang Ching to battle him. This is just getting confusing. Here you go, support weapons. What can I research now? Construction 2. Look at this, Tibet is free. And they're allied with Mongolia. Emperor of the Mongols. A new Mongolian Empire. I do want to play as Mongolia. Uh, for a second series maybe. Because I find that they're... Oh, it just seems like such a cool idea to just reform the Mongolian Empire. Not in real life, but I mean in the mod. Proletari di tutti e puesa univeti. Cool. Because they got a f cool focus tree as well. Just declare war on people. All the way down to Persia and stuff. We don't need the Tibetans anymore. Emperor of the Mongols. Oh, now we've got a Spanish civil war as well. Do we want to publicly support the the CNT FAI or remain silent? Let's publicly support them. Come on, you can do it. They're led by some kind of a symbol as opposed to an actual person. I mean, these guys are led by some like weird painter, Sp Spanish Hitler. These guys are led by a king, an actual king, instead of, well, I mean, uh, I'll take a painting over a symbol any day. Why do these guys have this territory? Catalonia. Catalonia is always up to some shit. Well, let's just hope that they can uh, remain longer than eight seconds these ti this time. Wait, what the fuck happened in Switzerland? Revolution. Abolish the federal government. Let's expand the railway. Wait, whoa, Switzerland, what are you doing? Oh. They seem to be going uh, communist. Good job. Oh, yeah. Research. What do I want to research? See, let's research fighter once, and let's research um, grand battle plan. Oh, look at this! The Venetian Republic is being pushed back. They've lost Venice, so now you're the the Udin Republic, the Serene Republic of Udin. These guys are gonna get screwed. Latvia was annexed. How's it going for poor Finland? Finland lost a lot of men, but the Russian public have lost a lot more. So it Russia actually seems to be doing fairly all right this game. In previous games that I've played, they've gotten absolutely slaughtered and lost Moscow and uh, Petrograd in like a couple of weeks. So this is hmm interesting. The Cairo Pact. Oh, I think they're going down. Um, the war with um, uh, Ottoman stuff. Yeah, they are. Yeah, hey boy. Poor Ottomans. They've been they've been through a lot. They've been through a lot. Oh, god damn it! These guys are just they just keep bombing me. Stop it! Stop it now! Ooh, uh, ooh, 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 ooh. Socialist economic miracle. Uh, recon company. That will help me um, very much. When can I do this? Needs to be after 1938. Reinforce the south, reinforce the coast. Take the republic. Oh, yeah. 
Well, it looks like these guys are gonna win, so maybe we can start. Uh, no, I need two more political power. Cut. God damn it! And oh my god, we get so little popularity, uh, political power because of Mikel Banchi, the Neo San Fidesti, and low popularity. Well, gosh, take it, dang it. What a strange noise. How have you guys not capitulated? How? How? Alejandro. Alessandro, you have disappointed me deeply. You have disappointed the name of Venice. Fucking, what's his face? The guy from Civ 5 is um, turning in his grave. Oh yeah, I should probably put these guys on my border. That could probably help. <laughs> it's annoying that we're gonna have to fight across a river, but look at this. French troops are coming. British troops. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Let's Ministry of Public Security. Germany, what are you doing? You better not be guaranteeing their independence. Nobody's guaranteeing their independence. Nice. Yeah, you defending the coast. That's not gonna help, uh, Gabriel. It's gonna be a rivederci for you. Jesus Christ, what the fuck was that? Do I have anyone who's actually a field marshal? I do. Randolfo Picciardi. He doesn't have a mustache though, so I don't trust him. You can't have a very big fleet, can you? Actually, you do. Great. 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 Just what I needed. Syndicalism spreads to Burma. I wish you could capture, like, um... Oh, the Indo-Chinese revolt succeeds. Fantastic. I wish, um... Or you could capture a nation's navy after you, um, defeat them. Because you can, like, capture planes and equipment and stuff, but you can't capture their navy. Look, this Finland is being pushed back. It's like reversed winter war up here. When is this gonna be completed? The 7th of January. Oh my god. It's gonna take literally seven years. Well, not literally seven years, but it's gonna feel like it. Get some more divisions. <laughs> we are gonna have these guys help though, which is gonna be nice. We've got it quite a few units here which I appreciate so maybe we can just get them to do all the hard work well we are gonna need the war score so we are also gonna have to do hard work Serbia declared war on Bulgaria Greece joined and I'm assuming Romania is gonna join <laughs> what's with Balkans and wars yep there you go Bulgaria you done messed up you done messed up you done messed up Has anything interesting happened? These guys have become market liberals. And that's about it. That's pretty much the only thing that happened. Commune of San Marino. Uh, so Today the elections have been brought to socialist. Oh. Well, fantastic. Thanks, San Marino, I guess. Where is San Marino? I don't know. It should be here somewhere. I don't even think there is state in this. Also, why is no one fighting over here? You can't win a war if you don't fight. Also, wait, what? The Ottoman Empire is helping Greece. And they've landed. I mean, they're helping Bulgaria and they've landed in Greece. What? 
But the AI is supposed to be horrible at naval invasions. Permanent revolution. Doesn't sound very nice. Look at this. The cunts are winning. CNT. No, but no. Oh, we no longer get the effects of Nicola Orange. Nicola Orengo. Don't know what that was. Uh, can these Neo San Fidesti guys just go away? Uh, I hate it. Fall Madrid. Who took it? Oh, the Carlist Spain took over. Do you guys also have divided nation? Why do these guys not have divided nation but we have? <laughs> the worst is over, it doesn't really look like it. I like it, we are just not affected by Black Monday at all because we're socialist. That is good. That really helps me out, I quite like it. Now they're sending e even more divisions over here. Thank you. No, but no. What's going on with Austria? Are you doing anything fun? No. Protector of the Balkans. Uh. Yeah. Is that why you declared war in uh, 1914? To protect the Balkans? I doubt it. Uh, I don't really know what I'm doing. The fall of Gibraltar. The mighty rock of Gibraltar has fallen. So Gibraltar doesn't belong to Britain in this universe, I assume. Interesting. God damn it. Um. Hmm. Let's see. What am I doing? Ah. Uh. It's probably the most boring video I ever watched, and I wouldn't doubt it, because I don't really have anything to do. It's kind of this game, you just sit back and you don't really do anything. That's why I like to record Mountain Blade, because you actually get more involved, and you don't have to do as much waiting around. Waiting for some kind of permanent revolution, with some bonded shit. The Sultan of Egypt declared war on the Ottoman Empire. Yeah, here they go. The fall of Burgos. And I'm assuming Iran is gonna join as well. Iran, are you gonna join? Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. The Ottomans are fighting on four fronts. Jesus Christ. And now, who? Mashrik. Who is that? Who's Mashrik? It's these guys. Five fronts now. Oh boy, that sure sounds fun. It's like World War One on crack. Come on. Oh. Well, Bulgaria got screwed. They took over Serbia though. No, no, Serbia took over Bulgaria. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Come on, Armenia. Declare war on the Ottomans. Get revenge for all those genocides. Come on, you need it. This guy has a glorious mustache. Permanent revolution. And now we'll go for... Futurist culture. Yay! I love socialist culture. You can enjoy the phalanstre. Uh, sure, why not? Don't know what that is, but we'll join it. Say yes to phalanstre, and good things will happen. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna leave this episode right here. Hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see all you dudes in the next episode. Bye-bye.